Continuing on the custom card review streak, we're going to be talking about a Carnival LR Blue Cow King Goku, and it's coming in from Shadow Dante, and it says that inside the uh, little header of the email that he made it in 2022. All right, so send me custom cards over to vhfcustomcards.gmail.com, so get to your custom card as soon as possible. I'm getting all these recent custom cards out the way. Um, 2022, huh? Okay, so let's go and see what this guy is looking like since there's no message inside the email. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I am pretty tired, so if... This video and the unit review sounds both monotone. I am sorry. Okay, so until the last resort, blue Kyle can go of course, Kyle can times 10. He is, of course, AGL. And these are stats of 55%. Interesting that he doesn't have stats rainbow too, just to be below the 55% stats, but hey, it's really whatever. So his leader skill is accelerated battle three key and 200% across the board. Of course, him being a carnival LR. His 12 key, that being the divine forecast, he stacks defense, does colossal damage, and lowers the enemy's attacks. He has a, a good combination of 12 key super attack effects. And his 18 key, that being the rush down Kamehameha, he greatly stacks attack and gains 30% defense for one turn while doing meg colossal damage to the enemy. So a good combination of super attack effects from both his 18 key to his 12 key. So his passive against time and tiredness, he activates the intro animations, of course, once only and gets 50% attack and defense. And he's also effectively assault types and he gets two key per type key sphere obtained. Yeah, type orb key sphere obtained. And he gets 8 key and 150% attack and defense at the start of turn. And he gets an additional 20% attack up to 100% with each attack performed. He gets 20% defense up to 100% with each attack received. And he starts out with just a baseline 40% damage reduction. Cool. And he also gets 20% attack and defense when performing a super attack. And he gets additional 100% attack and launches the guaranteed super as the second or third attacker in a turn. And he also gets additional 100% defense and an additional 20% damage reduction as the first attacker in a turn. And he launches a guaranteed super when he has a accelerated battle ally attacking in the same turn. Well, it just says as an ally that's accelerated battle, but pretty much the same type of wording that I just said, similar to which. And he also gets additional 20% damage reduction when HP is 70% or less. So... He made this in 20, 2022. Um, for a 2022 unit, he he doesn't seem too too shabby because he sits. He could could he sit in the first slot? Because if he sits inside the first slot, he's gonna have up to 60% damage reduction, as well as this 50% attack and defense here, as well as this 150% attack and defense right over here. He'll build up defense and attack, of course, while performing attacks and receiving attacks. Um, 60% damage reduction while also building up defense with each attack he receives. He could he sit in the first slot? Possibly. Possibly. And actually, I think the the play with this card that you could go with. If, well, of course, let's just make a hypothetical as you're running this card. Let's say, like, you're running double this card, of course, because, of course, he's a accelerated battle 200% leader skill just across the board. Uh, you would run him inside the first slot in the earlier parts of the fights. Well, in the early part of the fight, just to get him to build up all his defense immediately because that's just five hits. And then, like, you put him inside of the second slot and let him just stack his defense because he just gets that, that guaranteed super out when he's inside the second or third slot. Yeah. And then once you feel like his defense is sufficient enough after getting those guaranteed supers off, you can just go just throw him back inside the first slot and he'll have a lot of defense with 60% damage reduction. That doesn't seem too bad of an idea. I would like to assume that will be the way you would go about using this card because he does get that guaranteed super, right? And he also, of course, does a guarantee super. Now, it's already about a character attacking the same turn. So, um, and he can get up to 80% damage reduction too. That's nice. Yeah, and of course he gets additional defense as well as additional damage reduction as a first attacker in the turn. So in slot one, this card could be sitting with 60% damage reduction as well as, what else does this card get? He, he'll also have his effective against all types, his two key for type key, key sphere obtained. Um, and that'd be about it. Yeah, the most important thing about this card for being in slot one is him having that 60% damage reduction, him building up that defense where each attack received that just being five hits, as well as him getting that additional 100% defense such for him sitting inside the first slot. And granted, you fall below that 70% or less HP threshold, and this card shouldn't be taking damage from almost any tough boss. Because he'll have just 80, he'll have that 80% damage reduction. Around the end of the battle, will he be looking good tanking big boss super attacks? Probably. Probably. Because he 
outside of, of course, the second or third attack and the turn restriction for him to get that guarantee super with that attack buff. Um, he can get this guarantee super just from him having a accelerated battle character attack in the same turn, which you're going to be running them in the same turn with this guy because he's a accelerated battle three key 200% leader skill. So he can do up to two plus supers from his kit, of course, one being with him being inside the second or third slot as well as another being uh, him having a accelerated battle character sitting right next to him so that's two plus supers yeah i think that would be the play yeah or if there's not too many attacks being uh, of course launched inside the first slot you could just go ahead and throw this guy inside the second slot and take a bunch of attacks the the definite play with this card is to get that defense built up immediately or you just go ahead and just set him inside the second slot and just let this guy do up to four plus supers because this card could do that um solid design solid design and would you say he has enough stats to back it up because he already has this 50 percent attack and defense he has 150 percent attack and defense right over here as well as of course additional 100 percent attack and defense from him just doing attacks and receiving attacks and of course you get 20 percent attack even performing a super attack as well as 100 percent attack is the second or third attacker in a turn of course that'll help him on the offensive side when he's greatly stacking his attack um I think this card is solid. The card's solid. Absolutely. Yeah. Only thing is, is that this card is... Uh, actually, no. No, this card's fine. No, this card's fine. I don't I don't think the... The thing I was about to say, that would be a bit counter... That would be a bit counterintuitive to what I was about to say for this card. Anyways, so his active skill. That being... Uh, let's see. Let's see. Until my body can't take it anymore. Of course, you can use it once only. Uh, conditioning can be active starting from the fifth turn from the start of battle. He massively raises attack and all allies do guaranteed crits for one turn. Interesting. Massively raises attack and gives guaranteed crits the entire rotation. And his links are Godly Power, Warrior Gods, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Over in a Flash, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. And he's on a ton of categories. Battle of Fate. Uh, the Problem of Gods, Pure Saiyans, Full Power, Reps Universe 7, Goku's Family, Kamehameha, Bond of Master Disciple, Full, no, I was about to say Full Power. I mean, he is on Full Power, but yeah, he's on Final Trump Card, All Out Struggle, Turtle School, Master Evolution, Bond of Friendship, Accelerated Battle, Power Beyond Super Saiyan, Bond of Parent and Child, Earthbred Fighters, Superheroes, and Power of Wishes. And man, he's on so many categories. With an okay-ish link set. He has an okay-ish link set. Yeah. Uh, so that will be about it for this blue cow can go be solid card. Yeah, solid card. Um, I think it's from Shadow Dante W card. I don't really have. Is there any critiques I would give to this card? Probably not for a 2022 card. This seems pretty strong for a 2022 custom card. This is stronger custom cards from 2022 that I don't remember like reading. But yeah, um, when did I do custom card reviews? When did I start that? I don't even remember. Um, but I think that's going to be about it. Uh, send me custom cards over to BHF custom cards at gmail.com so I can get to your custom card as soon as possible. I'm getting all of these recent custom cards out of the way. I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys next time. I absolutely love you all. You guys are the greatest. Peace.